In this video lecture, I will be discussing control arrays in VB.NET. Control array. Control arrays are arrays of controls such as buttons, labels, text boxes, radio buttons, check boxes, etc. You are already aware of creating control arrays using inbuilt data types in VB.NET. Now here we will be uh, creating the control arrays of uh, vb.net controls and handling them using the loop. A uh, control array can be seen as a group of vb.net controls of one type sharing the name and event procedures. By this we mean that the control array that we are going to create they will be having the same name and they will be sharing the event procedures. Each element of a control array that is each control is identified by an uh, index or subscript given with the name of the array in parentheses. As you uh, do in arrays sim in the same way in control arrays also every element or every control that is part of the control array it will be identified by an index or the subscript which is given in the parentheses. They are created in the same way as the array using the built-in data types. So here is the syntax that how you declare a control array. Here you give the keyword dim, then the array name, name of the array that you want to give. Then in parentheses you give the upper bound in integer. Upper bound means that how many elements you want to have in your control array. Now here whatever value you will give, you will have one additional element uh, in the array that means if you give 4 here then from 0 to 4 though, uh, 5 elements will be created for this array and after that you give as keyword and then the control type that means in the place of control type you, you can give the name of any control that you want to create an array for or you can either give uh, it in this uh, as in the second syntax dim array name as control type here you don't give the upper bound in the parentheses and automatically the number of elements that you keep on adding into this they, they will be uh, defining the total number of elements in the control array. So here are the following statements which uh, are declaring the control arrays. Uh, first example is of LBL message. LBL as you know we are using this prefix as for the label. So here I am declaring a label con uh, con a control array of labels which is equal to 10 in uh, 10 uh, upper bound so that means you are actually creating 11 lab uh, labels with this command then uh, txt values this is an array of uh, 8 upper bound so it will be 0 to 8 that means 9 text boxes in this array similarly in, in the next one I, I have created a btn action array but here no upper bound is given but still the control array is created which will be allowing us to add the controls of butter button type. Then the next one is RBD for radio button and uh, the name is given RDB select 4. So here I will be creating a control array of 5 radio buttons. Now what are the advantages of control arrays? Control arrays provide convenience to handle control elements of same type and function. If you have multiple controls of uh, same type and same function in your program, then it is always preferable to make it as a control array. For all the controls in the control array, a single event handler need to be written. The index argument passed in the event procedure is used to identify the control that fire the event to be executed. It helps in reducing the code size considerably. Next advantage is, the, uh, is very important that control elements can be added dynamically at the time of execution which are not added at the design time. So in the example that I will be discussing here, we will be adding the control elements dynamically at the time of the execution which are not defined at the design time. Then last advantage is elements of control array share all the properties and event procedures so they require lesser resources than the individual control elements. This is another reason of code size reduction. So why we get the code size reduction because we are using the same name and same properties and same event procedures for all the controls which are there in the control array. So that means actually we are using the lesser resources for those elements. So next is 
the practical example that we will be uh, doing today in this practical example you will see that uh, I will be creating a form in this way and as you can see that we have year 1 to year 5 and these are the text boxes which are used to enter the data you will see in the example that I will not be creating this particular these labels and these text boxes initially they will be added with the code in the uh, co uh, in the code part of the project so let us go to the visual basic uh, application so here I have a form which is blank initially so in this form I will be adding the labels and the text box boxes to enter the data uh, to be added uh, with the program but I have to add the button for uh, uh, adding all the values so here is the button that will perform the addition I will give the name of the button as btn btn and calculate so this is the calculate this is the name of the button and the text which I give here is uh, calculate you all know these things already so we have given calculate here I need a text box to uh, show the added value so here I am adding a text box and I will change its name just to fill up with the total value through programming so here I give the name as txt total so design part is over now we go to the the code part now see here we have form 2 and here I will be first adding the control arrays I will add dim and lpl values this is the name of the labels control array and its size is 4 because I want to add 5 labels so as label so this is the control array of labels then dim txt values again 4 as text box now this text box is added so to control the loops I again declare a variable which is int count as integer so integer I will select from here and these are the things I require you can see here I have declared two control arrays as label and text box and one variable for controlling the loops now here I will start adding the controls to the form uh, uh, through the runtime uh, so uh, uh, whatever things I want to do is in the form load event so here is the form load event and here I will use the for loop where int count is from 0 to 4 because we want to create 4 elements so here we have and next is already added so here I declare a variable called my text box as new text box now this is a control that I have created and I will use this control to add the controls to the form then again I will do the same thing for the label my label as new label so these two variables are created every time the loop is created every time a new my text box will be created with these two commands these are created here because we want to add these uh, as the part of the control array to the form so here I first of all ready the uh, my label my label dot I will define its left equal to 10 that means what is its left position it is equal to 10 then my label dot right uh, sorry this will be top the top value 
equal to uh, 10 10 from the top then 25 into the current value of the index that is int count that we have defined as the counter for this so we have defined the top and left of the label and my label dot the text that I want to show here it will be equal to year and space plus now I want to give the values as year 1, year 2, year 3 so I will be using the int count I have to convert it into string int count since it is starting, starting from uh, 0 so I will add 1 here to give a valid value so this is my label now created and I will give its width also my label dot width is equal to 50 and now I will add this label as an element of the label control array so we have label values and in this I will say int count equal to my label so that means this newly created label it is added as an element to the control array and now I can add this element to the form so me is for the current form controls array controls array that this is a collection which specifies the currently available controls in the form to this I will add the LBL values and what is the current count that is count and this label will be added if I run here right now you can see that the labels are added here in the form you can see that labels are added here if I just comment this whole section here you can see that the form is running as a blank form so if I uncomment this these this particular code it will be creating five labels in the uh, form now creating the text box so I will be using my text box so it is my text box um, dot left left is the position from the left side of the form so I will specify it to be 100 then the top will be same as this value so I will use this because I want to align the labels and the text boxes so I have uh, my text box and top and I want to keep it blank so I will not be giving this value I want it to be uh, the width to be by default and now I will to the txt values and to this array I will add int count and equal to my text box and now I will add this text box also to the controls in the form so here I will rename this as txt values and if I run this code then you can see that we have created the labels and the text boxes this these labels are making the control array these text boxes are also controlling the control making the control array now the last part is now if I run it again and I enter some values say these values anything I can write here and say this and this if I press calculate nothing is happening that means what I have to do is now I have to add the click code to this particular button I will just switch it over here and 
shorten this form a bit because it is very long and now I double click this you can see that the click button click option is opened here now I have to write the code for adding the value so I will use the loop again and here I will write next appear automatically I will be using dim total as double because probably I'm going to enter bigger values so it will be double now I want to add every value that is stored in the text box into this particular total so I will say total plus equal to and uh, here we have txt values dot text and int count here but since this int count will be in will be a string by default so I will be adding this so this is the code that we that will do the total for me uh, actually this int count have to be added after the name of the text box so here this is done uh, this is a space so no there's no space so this is done now this loop will add the value and I want the total to be given to txt total text box so here we have text is equal to this now this loop this loop it will take the elements from all the, the from the control array created with text boxes from each text box it will add the value to the total total and then the total will be displayed in the text box so let us see whether it is working or not so 700 uh, 300 3000 6000 let's keep on increasing the value 30,000 and calculate now you can see that all the values are summed together and they are displayed in this text box so this is how you will be ab you are able to handle uh, you are able to declare the control arrays and add the elements to the control arrays by this line and add the controls to your form by this line similarly here we are adding here we are first of all uh, here we have declared a text box here we have defined its properties and here we have added the newly created text box to the control array and now this text box is uh, from the control array it will be added to the uh, form and why I am doing this using the control array because handling a control array to do a function is very convenient using the looping con constructs and uh, you can see that how much code is reduced in this particular thing so this is the code that will uh, help you in creating the form that I have just displayed using the control arrays so let's go back to the presentation and Here we have completed this exercise to understand that how control arrays can be created, how they can be used in a form for uh, creating a code which is better, which is concise, which is readable and which reduces uh, the size of the application. So this is all about the control arrays. Next I will be discussing the uh, ASP.NET applications.